Yes, guys, <clears throat> believe it or not, that did happen. I was the uh, the biggest atheist that you can come across prior to 2018 until a uh, event happened in my life that uh, ultimately changed my situation. And I wanted to discuss this this morning. Um, my name is uh, JV. I am coming to you live this morning from Northern California. Today is Sunday. It's January. It's uh, July 28th, 2024. And let me uh, briefly discuss what happened to me. So back in uh, April of 2018, I had to go to the emergency uh, room to the ER at the local hospital because I was having severe chest pains for about a month straight and uh, they came up uh, off and on I would uh, experience these uh, sudden uh, uh, throbbing pains in my chest and I didn't know what was going on and as a person that really detests going to uh, hospitals doesn't like taking medication hardly ever take any medication it came to a point on a Saturday night, I remember this vividly, where I was having these chest pains and I couldn't even sleep. I couldn't lay down on the bed. I had to get up and I was pacing back and forth as the uh, the pain was throbbing in my ch on my chest. And I thought I was, I was on the verge of having a heart attack. So I decided after about an hour to go to the hospital, go to the ER, this was on a Sunday morning it was around midnight and uh, immediately they took uh, x-rays on me uh, they took me to a room they uh, conducted some blood samples they took my blood pressure it was about a six hour stay there in the hospital and uh, they were waiting for the results and then um, ultimately thank goodness it turned out that uh, I didn't have any bleeding in the perimeter of my heart. Uh, that's what the uh, technician mentioned to me, that the uh, x-rays uh, results uh, actually uh, gave to him. So I wasn't uh, having any heart problems. And um, one of the things that really worried me, however, is the fact that my mother has had two open heart surgeries one when she was about 23 or 24 years old and then another one uh she had a heart open heart surgery about 23 years ago and uh even the uh, doctor told me that she was worried that uh because of i told her that my mother had has had a, a heart problems and she actually uh has uh two artificial valves uh under her uh and her heart and has to take medication for the rest of her life uh, to uh, basically mediate the the, the blood uh, the blood streams and the uh, thin or thickness of the blood uh, she was very concerned about that so uh, they let me off the out of the hospital after six hours we schedule a follow-up uh, appointment with a cardiologist I went to the cardiologist uh, they ran some tests on me and ultimately um, the diagnosis that I got is that I had very low potassium which was causing these uh, these heart pains that I was having and so they proceeded to uh, give me medication and thank God uh, after that uh, I would say about two months after the uh, my visit to the hospital I really haven't had that many or, or hardly any uh, chest pain anymore. So I've been taking a lot of, uh, uh, I've been eating a lot of uh, potassium or intaking a lot of potassium ever since on a daily basis. Not to overdo it, but to keep a balance on my system. And uh, after that, that event, I really changed. I, I became a changed man. I, I started to believe in God again because I thought that I was gonna die that night. I really th thought that it was just a matter of time before I had a heart attack and who knows what would have happened after that and uh, I promise I promise God that uh, 
I would uh, forever be thankful to him, forever be thankful to God for every day that I have, especially uh, when I'm healthy, when I have uh, good health and I'm able to actually uh, perform my my activities on a daily basis and it's really been a a very good ride ever since. I haven't really had any major medical conditions since 2018. But um, prior to that event, I I didn't believe in God. I was very sarcastical about people that read the Bible, uh, people that tried to introduce the Bible to me, wh whether it was Christians. Well, actually, not, not so much Christians. It was more Jehovah Witnesses. And uh, I wouldn't necessarily laugh at them in their face, but I would actually uh, dismiss them immediately and I would not pay any any attention to what they were saying and I would tell them to go go away that I wasn't interested and uh, I haven't joined any particular specific church um, I don't want to be associated with uh, uh, organized religion all I know is that I believe in God I do believe God exists now I think that uh, we all have a purpose in life and uh, we have to fulfill that purpose and, and live uh, to the best of our abilities. But it was, uh, you know, a very, very uh, scary event, probably the scariest event I've had in my entire life. I can't think of another event that was scarier than that. And uh, now I am a believer in God and I will be a believer in God until my last day here on planet Earth. But I just wanted to share my story. It's a brief story. I don't want to uh, meander and dwell on it much longer than that. And um, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, I am definitely not trying to persuade anybody to believe in God. That's your prerogative. You are entitled to think freely as to whether or not you want to believe in a supreme being or not. And uh, I think we all should respect one another's decision as to how we want to live. I just wanted to share my story to the audience here on this platform. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, will watch, I will see you on the next video. Thank you.